Hello, Justin here. How are you doing? In this lesson, we're going to be checking out some really cool finger style picking patterns. Just really kind of basic ones that you might use for your normal kind of pop ballad. Um, hopefully you've done your finger exercise, picking exercise that we talked about in the last stage. Just doing thumb, one, two, three. Um, the fingers positions are going to be the same. So make sure you get your thumb here on, uh, in this case, I'm just going to, st actually I'll start it here on the sixth string. Thumb on the sixth string. First finger on the third string, second finger on the second string, and third finger on the thinnest string. Now, the first pattern we're going to check out, I'm just playing a G chord with my left hand. So we're starting here with the thumb on the sixth string, first finger on the third string, second finger on the second string, and third finger on the thinnest string. And the pattern we're going to be checking out today goes like this. It's thumb, one, two, one, Three, two, one, two. Thrum, one, two, one. Three, two, one, two. Now we're going to do this really slowly together. So get your G chord on with the left hand and let's have a little bit of a go here. Here we go. Nice and slow. Three, four, thumb, one, two. trick here is just to do it over and over and over again so it becomes a little bit automated. But as soon as you think about it at some point in the near future you're going to start changing chords while you're doing this. So the big trick is just to keep doing it over and over and over again. Once you've got the pattern kind of under your fingers Good idea to just try and speed it up a little bit. Maybe getting it up to the speed kind of like one and two and three and four and thumb one two one three two one two thumb one two one three two one two. Now all of those with the G chord with the thumb playing the bass note there which is on the sixth string. Now a really nice little sequence to practice is G, D, C, D. And this is a really good one, aside from the fact that it actually sounds kind of nice, it means that your thumb's moving from the sixth string for the G over to the fourth string for the D chord, to the fifth string for the C chord, and back to the fourth string for the D chord. So you really, your thumb's having to get a bit of a workout. And what you do is to probably just play that pattern once on each chord, something like this. So G to D. So that's the first little chord sequence I want you to try and get through. G, D, C, D. Use that little pattern. Thumb, one, two, one, three, two, one, two. Really, really nice. It's on the website. It can definitely help say it. It can definitely help to see it as well. So maybe writing down on a piece of paper, thumb, one, two, one, three, two, one, two, would be a good thing to have in front of you. You can kind of almost use it as a little trigger just to see it and do it as you go, as your eyes follow it along. So maybe check that out. I want to do another little pattern with you. This one is this. I'm going to do this on a C chord, and this is thumb one two three two one two three thumb one two three two one two three. Very nice little sequence again. So you can apply this lots of different ways, of course. We might do it, say, on an E minor. So our thumb will be on the sixth string. Thumb, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. Thumb, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. Then maybe to a C chord. Thumb, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. Thumb, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. To a D chord. C the thumb. 
thumb is now on the fifth string, D. Now the thumb is on the fourth string. So that's also a really, really nice little sequence. Now the last one I want to explain to you here is that we kind of looked at it last time, but this one I want to describe it to you as being in six. Now you could think of it as kind of two triplets, but really what we're going for here is one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we just do it on the D chord, we're just going up and down. So going thumb, one, two, three, two, one, thumb, one, two, three, two, one, like one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, then to G. little sequence this one and you can work it through lots of different chords now we've just gone to an E minor maybe go to an A and now we've got the fifth string root we go back to E minor even we can even go maybe something radical we've just gone to C chord with the thumb moving over to the fifth string the big key here is making sure that your thumb knows which the bass note is for each of the chords so it knows whether to pluck the sixth string the fifth string or the fourth string. So have a play around with those three patterns. See if you can apply them to some songs. Um, there's lists of songs that use them on the website, but just use your ears as well. You might try putting the finger style on a song that's not normally finger style. Why not? You can, remember, if it sounds good, it is good. So experiment and see what cool things you can come up with. You might end up, end up writing your own tune even. Wow, cool. So um, have fun with that. I shall see you for another lesson really soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.